Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and today I want to talk to you about the new AMD Radeon Adrenaline 2020 Edition driver, which is version 19.12.2. Now, this is going to be focused on the gaming aspect. This is going to be focused on the mining aspect of this driver, and this is more of a PSA. I need to warn you guys about something. So, first off, if you're interested in the gaming aspect of this new driver revision, I would challenge you to check out Hardware Unbox. Now, along with uh, many other features like uh, Radeon Anti-Lag, Chill, uh, Image Sharpening, Integer Scaling, the new kit on the block is Radeon Boost. And Hardware Unbox does a good job of explaining Radeon Boost, uh, its impact, how it's used, and so on and so forth. But it's only limited to a certain amount of games. So if you want more details about that, check them out. I'll have them linked in the description below. But as far as the mining aspect goes, this new driver revision from AMD kind of brings a new look. So we got a new GUI, a new interface, very user friendly, uh, same features that we love, uh, media capture, streaming, uh, easy launch tools, easy update tools. Uh, it will give you recommendations, stuff like that for performance uh, and your screen or setup. But the tuning utility, which has got a new revamp look, everything's got a new look. I, want, I noticed something. So normally it's on automatic, but then if you go to manual or even in automatic, you can look at the memory clock. Look at the memory clock. It's saying 1750. That's the part that I want to warn you guys about. Because whether it's MSI Afterburner, Overdriven Tour, whatever utility you're using to tune your GPU, especially for mining, the memory clock changed. So instead of it being 1875 stock, it's now 1750 stock so it's the same as the core so 1750 core and mem and then the max that you can hit is 1850 core and mem when you refresh this driver and if you haven't modified your card in any form or fashion however I do modify the parameters in which this card works and that is using the more power tool to solve power play tables whatever you want to call it and the more power tool you notice look at the memory it still says 930 so that's, that was the original maximum memory clock that you could hit was 930. So 875 stock out of the box, 930 was the max if you try to overclock your memory. Some people can't even get past 900 or 910, but I was able to. So in order to get back to where I originally was, I noticed something. So when I change this number here, it impacts the memory clock that I'm able to set in MSI Afterburner or whatever utility that I'm using. However, they do not correlate. So if it says 930 here and it says 1750 here, the numbers don't match, right? So in order to change that, if I change it to 940, what I notice is the max memory clock that I was able to hit in MSI Afterburner was 1880. Let me see if I can show you guys an example. So the biggest thing or the PSA or public service announcement for the mining community is if you are using the more power tool be extremely careful the numbers do not match do not think that you can just go into the more power tool plug in 1900 on the memory clock hit write SPPT and restart the system and you're good to go that's not gonna work you're gonna crash your system so 950 in the more power tool equals 1900 in MSI Afterburner I usually set it at 1,000 to, to, to break any limitations that I have, but if I were to make a recommendation, do it in small increments. So 930 stock, bump it up to 940, write SPPT, restart your system. Come into MSI Afterburner, set your clocks, reboot, or excuse me, run your mining program, see where you're sitting hash rate wise, and then kind of go from there. If we notice in Claymore, which yes, I'm using nice hash, whatever. I I use different miners, not just nice hash. But I was at 52 mega hash, so about high 51s to mid 52s using Claymore, and that was around. Uh, so the the core clock was 1300. The core voltage was 800 or lower, and the memory is 1880. That's what I found my sweet spot for my card. But you're gonna have to tune for you. So 1880 to 1860, because for example, in mining Ethereum again, but with Phoenix Miner, 1860 was kind of the sweet spot. And I noticed something. I could hit 1900, 1910, 1920, no problem if I set in the more power tool the maximum memory clock of 1000. But 
even though the system was not crashing at 1920, 1910, I was getting an impact, a negative impact on my hash rate. My hash rate would drop from 52, 53 to 49, 48. So do it in small increments, test out your system, and see if you can get back to where you were mining originally with your RX 5000 series. Once you get there, see if you can't push it a little bit more. Maybe this driver gave you a little bit of an edge. Because, again, 1930 was the max for me, but I was able to get a little bit above that with this new driver revision. So 1880 uh, would have been 950 in the past, or excuse me, 940 in the past, which is 10 megahertz more than what I originally could do. So this driver did help us out a little bit. It's not going to give me you know, an extra 5 mega hash in Ethereum or so on and so forth, but it did give me enough. So using the more power tool, be extremely careful. The numbers do not correlate with one another. Uh, so just bump it up bit by bit, reboot, tune to your, to your liking. Now, it's not just this new driver revision that's allowed us to access or, or mine additional currencies. Because ever since the RX 5000 series came out, we were only able to mine certain algorithms because the developers had to reprogram, recode, uh, recompile their miners or their their programs so that way we could mine these certain algos on these new cards that have new architecture and a new setup but lol miner we have been able to mine grin i believe on the rx 50 uh 5700 series since 0 0.9.1 i want to say yeah so that's it's been out for quite some time it's not this driver that's that's done it but this driver may have helped out with stability same thing for wild rig so when this thing first came out, I didn't even have MTP on my list. I didn't have um, Grin31 on my list. But as new driver revisions come out from A&D and as the developers continue to uh, work on their miners, we're going to see more and more algorithms. So when I was mining Ryo, I was getting the same hash rate that I was originally uh, running two, uh, a custom config with two threads. Mining MTP... I'm sitting around 2.5 mega hash or 2500 kilo hash. Uh, the second one of MTP is just more proof 2500. And mining Grin 31, I'm sitting at 0.95. And mining Grin 29, I'm sitting anywhere between 4.5 to 5.33. So let's say 4.9, 4.8, somewhere in there. And you'll see on some of these mining calculators, they don't even have MTP in here and we don't even have the RX 5700 series to choose from so the closest sibling that we can get to is either going to be the Vega 56 for the RX 5700 or the 64 for the XT variant and then you have to plug in your numbers manually to see what is more profitable plug in your 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 numbers and your wattage now the numbers that I was getting for MTP and Grin was not tuned for efficiency. I was just trying to see what the, the stock numbers were. You can probably fine tune it a little bit more to get the better numbers. But right now, the AMD RX 5700 is barely profitable um, in my area. It may be profitable for you, but it, it depends area to area. But compared to Vega 56, which gets around 1.5 mega hashes or 1.8 in MTP, we're getting 2.5 on the RX 5700, but not fully tuned. It could still be tweaked and tuned. So while this AMD driver revision is better implemented for gamers and the user interface being more user friendly for the average uh, gamer, streamer, or what have you, uh, it does bring some benefits that we can see later on down the line. And when it comes to tuning, be extremely careful with the more power tool because again the numbers don't correlate with one another you're gonna have to tune manually so i hope you got some useful information out of this video guys do me a favor hit the like button on your way out sorry i haven't been talking too much about crypto and mining lately i know i've been doing some work uh on the side talking about the acer predator helios 300 uh real life stuff taking care of the family but i would try to keep up with things as we move forward I'll do my best, make no promises, but I will catch you guys in the next one. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit that helps this channel out. And uh, yeah, we'll see you later. Have a good weekend.